<laughs> oh, well, here we are. This is our favorite segment. This is the style round table, right? Um, and this is a really good time to be talking to the stylists, don't you think? It's a really, really good time. We all need so much help, girls. We need so much help. We're here for you. Let me pose this question. I'll start with you, Jocelyn. Okay. Give me a forecast for 2009. I th start with color. I think it's going to be darker. Darker? Yeah, I do. Ooh, I think we're in a depressing wow. time, and I just I feel like maybe people will want color in their life because they're feeling so down. Yes. But I don't know. I mean, we've seen the history, mm -hmm. and during Depression, it was a lot of drab color. Well, no. I mean, that was a different thing. That means yeah. the big depression. The <laughs> well, yeah. no. In those days, nobody could afford anything. Right. Yeah, right. Exactly. Is that what's going to happen? I don't again? know. <gasps> I don't know if I agree. I don't either. Okay. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. Maybe it's because I like dark colors. I was about to say I really yeah. like dark colors, and I feel, but I do feel like it is this thing of, of wanting like a little bit of relief. So it's right. going to be bright cheap colors. Okay. Like I think it's like maybe, <laughs> and there is going to be I think a real stratification even more than we already have between this real high and this real low. And mm -hmm. I think when it goes low it's going to be like bright and happy and move it. It's like lipstick clothing, you know? And then maybe darker is going to be more sophisticated and drab and that. But I feel like in a sort of like uh, those other moments of economic turmoil, like a 70s moment, right. mm. those moments, it was like you had like sex. There was like tons of sex in the yeah. clothes yes. and you had darkness, sure. right. but you also had like I remember relief, color kind when of, I was a know? kid. I remember yeah, a lot of too. color. I really do. My mother almost never wore black. My mother was, except she had 3,000 black dresses, but when she wore like clothes, <laughs> right. they were always like color and color and color. What about, how do you feel well, about it? Well, I mean, the only way that I can sort of relate to what you're saying is I think that there's going to be people are going to be getting a lot more, wanting to get a lot more mileage out of their clothes. Yeah. So yeah, there's, true, dressing yeah. has become much more seasonless yeah. and much more about, I think people that's think true. that if they're going to invest in something that they should invest in something that isn't a hugely bright color. But I already feel like there's a huge trend in shine. Mm -hmm. And along, even kind of analogous to the idea of seasonless dressing, this idea that what might have once been relegated for evening specifically is now appropriate for day as well. Yes, so totally. it's just shine in every form and facet, go from metallic to brocade to satin. And I feel like maybe that makes people happy because it looks like money, because it's yeah. shiny, I don't yeah. know. Like but you know, I feel like there's, yeah. there's just, to me, there's this real mindset of getting mileage out of your clothes. And again, that you want something that'll take you from day to evening. And that's a trend that does that.